Namaskar. Banakam. Sastri Call, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Manam Judy Hey. Manam Anjali Hey. And today we're going to watch a video that's gone viral Chinese soldiers crying what? on the way to the border. That is crazy. The Indian border. Mm hmm. The yeah. Indian border? They're on their way to serve at the Indian border for China, and they're on the bus, it looks like, crying. So, and, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't believe how they're doing that. Indian Army are just going, they sign up, and if they do airplane, they're doing backflips on the way. <laughs> well, I think the difference is the Indian Army signs up. Yeah, and the Chinese yeah. Army, they don't have a democracy, so I'm pretty sure they wouldn't sign up. Right. I think they were forced to go. It looks that way. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, they're sad to leave their families when they didn't sign up to serve their country. There's a difference. There's a proudness when you sign up to serve your country. And you as can see it to... in the faces of Indian soldiers versus Chinese soldiers. Right. Yeah. Versus this. I mean, these are young kids, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it just says, like, Taiwan media... Um, kind of use this as their sign of saying they're fearful because we know that Taiwan and China are on the brink of war and yeah. and the tightness is the same at the Indian border uh, right now um, the standoff it, so this is this is real I mean this is this is serious stuff but it's just sad to see that this is happening you know yeah. um, and such a difference between China and India. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. You ready to watch it? Oh, yeah. Oh my god, they were crying like little babies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I feel bad because they look like young boys that mm -hmm. um, I'm sure the Communist Party, the CCP, signed them up and shipped them Forced off. Forced them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think it's like the democracy where they got to choose or else I don't think they would be crying on their yeah. way to the Indian border. I think they would feel more proud. Like, when we see Indian soldiers, we definitely see, like, their proud face. Even when they are saying goodbye to their families, they always have that, like, proud look on their face that are serving the land that they want to protect. Right. But in this case scenario, I don't think that's what's happening. Not yeah. at all. No, they not at all. didn't have any choice in the matter of no. this. And that's, like, the difference between democracy, mm -hmm. freedom of speech, yeah. freedom to choose or not to choose. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I think they just got signed up and shipped off. Mm -hmm. They were the right age. Yeah. 
and they needed Who more knows soldiers. Who they even did say goodbye to their families? Like, what if they just picked them up from their house? I don't know. We, we still don't know if the families of the Chinese soldiers that were killed at the border even know that the, they, they were, were killed, killed at, at the, the border. border. Yeah. Different, you know, India did a whole ceremony. I mean, it's just, there's such night and day from the Communist Party and from a democracy. Mm-hmm. Um, you want to be able to have freedom of speech, to be able to speak about things that are happening that you agree or don't agree mm-hmm. with. Um, you want to be able to choose. Now, we know when there's, like, here in the U.S., there there has been drafts where they try to get people at a certain age that they needed because the war was going on. That yeah. was when the war was actually going on. Yeah. Like, they were, they were needing more people to help. That's different. The war has they not started yet. And China seems to be shipping off these young men who, yeah, like you said, like when we see soldiers, usually the parents are crying, the sisters are crying, the wives are crying. But the soldiers always have that proud face. They never mm-hmm. stop having the proud face because they know, they don't think about they're going to die at the border. They think about I'm serving my motherland, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Such a proud even some of the families, like, we, we saw some of the soldiers' families that were lost at the border. Mm-hmm. And even then, like, as tears in their eyes, they were still saying how proud they were that they served. Yeah. You know, but this is what we talk about, how communists, the CCP controls the media. It controls what you watch. It controls what mm-hmm. you read. It controls so much of your life. Yeah. You can only have one house. You can only have one kid. You can only have, this is the job they pick for you. You you don't have, you don't get to choose your career. You don't get to choose yeah. that you want, you have enough money to buy a couple homes. You buy a couple homes. You don't get that. If you do a crappy job or you do an awesome job, you get paid the same amount of money every year time you know your house looks exactly the same as the person next door you know you can only have this much space and it it is so so controlled yeah and Mm -hmm. this is just sad to see because not that we want to see war but you want people to go to the border because they want to Mm -hmm. because they feel they want to serve the country that they love. love yeah yeah you want to be in the country that you love, not forced to be there. Like, but I don't think the Chinese Communist Party is going to let them out of that country. So No. No, I think people that get to come to other countries um, are lucky because... Yeah. They've taken over, lar- you know, they're still trying to inch inch their way across the border, inch their way in other countries. Mm-hmm. China is already large, and they're having trouble keeping it under control. The yeah. monks in Tibet are burning themselves alive. The Uyghur Muslims are being stuck in concentration camps. This is why they're probably getting these young boys. They don't have enough military to spread all across their borders from every end to the other. They're because fighting too many wars. people don't want that. People don't want to go to the border because they don't love China the way Indian soldiers love India. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and th- they're trying to fight too many wars, and they have too many people opposing them, like mm-hmm. Uyghur Muslims, like Tibetans, like... That's why they're not starting the war, because Taiwan, they know India like and Hong all these Kong. other people, once they start it, it's not going to stop, and yeah. they're going to lose. Mm-hmm. So they're trying to beat their chest and look really big, um, but we know in the end it's it's going to hopefully come down to... The CCP cannot win this. No. It, it can't. Democracy has to win over in the end. Um, it's just sad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but you know our support is at the Indian border, mm-hmm. and um, you guys are keeping it tight, and we thank you for your service. Mm-hmm. The ones who yeah. sign up because of their love for their country and do it because they're proud and do it because... They don't think about anybody else. um, But their country. But their country and serving the people of the country. So Mm -hmm. um, we thank you guys and we salute you. Right, Mm Jaden? Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. And click the notification bell down below because the more you look at more YouTube shows or videos. And join the wonderful Jan family. And And we'll we'll see see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Jaden!